What are the similarities? I've got a brand new, well, not really <laughs> brand new, a rather ratty old racket. Yep. But for you, the similarities between tennis and golf that have helped you be a very good ball striker. In fact, you said to me you really never have worked with any teacher on your full swing and, and you know what the ball does. So yeah. uh, tell us all about that. Yeah, no, it's... Um so growing up, I played tennis and golf. Those were my two sports that I started with. Um, I started golf when I was four years old. I started tennis when I was two years old. Um, I, th I think, to be honest, a lot of my golf swing comes from my backhand and vice versa. My backhand was my best shot um, throughout my career. Can you show me, uh, let's pretend I know nothing about tennis, which yep. is not much of a pretense, actually. Uh, but show me a backhand in tennis. Yeah, so, so I mean, the, the backhand is... is you know, sort of through here, almost almost like a baseball swing, but also finishing, you're always finishing, you want to finish at least and go through the ball on your front foot. And it's very similar to golf or something that I sort of think about if I'm thinking about anything, it's sort of finishing front and on my front foot. Um, you know, in, in tennis, my backhand, you know, you're going through and you're, you're always you're always here. Um, so it's it's a lot of, you know, if there's a low backhand, if you have like a low backhand, you know, I'm gonna do a low backhand and come through like this, just like my golf swing. And luckily, <clears throat> I was a le I'm a lefty golfer, so it's l almost identical to the same swing. Um, I, I think they both worked together when I was younger, um, and I was able to develop a good golf swing because of my backhand and, and a good backhand because of my golf swing. Well, I think that's absolutely, uh, absolutely right. I do believe you 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 play golf at Bel Air, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe Eddie Merrins was the pro there yep. for a long time. Still there, he? little Still pro, there. the little pro, wonderful man. Yeah, and he talks about the tennis. It reminded me of you. Just just hit one for me. I just wanted to see it and see yep. how similar that is to uh, your tennis. Beautiful grip you've got there. Beautiful grip. Uh, light or tight with your grip there, Marty? I'm fairly loose. I mean, yeah. would that be the same as tennis or not? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to choke it, um, the tennis racket. Um, I'm, I'm fairly loose with it, though. This morning on the morning drive, I, I think I hit the hosel on one of them, so... I, I I, you know face. what? They must have <laughs> given you a bad golf ball because tricks on golf balls would never do that. Uh, what I, w now, a couple of things that are really impressive to me. Um, you obviously a highly, highly gifted individual, uh, athletically, you know, off the charts. But as you showed me your backhand, there didn't appear to be any wristy flick in there. Again, I'm going to give you the racket back if I might, mm -hmm. and just show me a backhand. And if my intrepid cameraman here could focus on the glove hand here, just what Marty's doing there is what most people need to do with every golf shot they hit. I mean, oh, occasionally there's one that you don't do that. Um, so if come, someone wanted a bit of tennis coaching from you, like me, if mm -hmm. I popped over to LA yep. and I was flicking away like that with my hands, what would you tell me? Well, you want to lead with this dominant hand. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, one of the things I'll say is that I learned, just like the golf swing, I learned the backhand at such a young age that it would be, it was such a reliable shot for me that it would almost be really hard to teach it because I'm not exactly sure how it works. It's just always there. Yeah. Similar to like my golf swing, it's just kind of always been, even though you know we just had a kid and I haven't played much at all, um, it's always sort of been just a good fluid swing for me. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't want to you don't want to use a ton of wrist or anything that. like that. Um, one of the things I do with my golf swing, uh, my driver, just to make sure that I'm not super um, sort of mechanical because yeah. I don't want to be a machine um, is to is to sort of go like this just in my back just um, just on my practice swing just so I can make sure I don't do that and then lock in from there well I love what you do with your golf swing there's a great weight transference through the ball beautiful hit there great weight transference <coughs> through the ball very correct wrist very smooth very coordinated just what I would expect from a, a silver medalist in the <laughs>